There we go. Four seconds. Welcome to RealLibertyMedia.com. That's the that's the man from uh, way down in the Southland. I think I talk funny. You ought to listen to him. This is Real Liberty Media. I'm Vince Easley. I'm your host, uh, along for What Matters, uh, Ponder Gander. Today is All Flesh is Grass. It's a tune in time from the colors of life. Pulling out the words and laying down the lines. A tale in tune with pen and pad from the black and white. All flesh is grass. I'm used in the music of Stephen Tolbert. That's the man from Alabama. This is today, right now, on RealLibertyMedia.com and uh, RLM Radio. This will be tuned up and downstream and uh, to the, all the other places. I did the last three days in uh, building the broadcast and played the music to air and shared. And that will be in the uh, in the radio log. In the page down there, there will be a player and a description and uh, all that, what to do with it. <coughs> well, where am I at? Right here on Real Liberty Media. Let me go over in the chat and say, how do you do, everybody? And uh, in both stations that I uh, and visited in over here. Howdy, howdy. Welcome in. Who do you say? What do you say? Yes, he says, uh, Dust says, uh, I should stick to mechanical bull riding. I, was, um, I tried to tune up a little bit there before I got started. <laughs> All right. What am I here for? What am I... F- about this here, this flesh and the spirit of uh, taking a look at the contrast, the contrast of control of ourselves and others is what this comes down to, and I hope to get to. And where do we meet uh, together? And that's in the music, that uh, that muse, that part of another, the other share to themselves that we share and experience to be part of ourselves at at that then take it in, and make it our own. What somebody puts out, what I put out, it's it's no longer mine. It's gone. It's out there. Anybody that takes it, it's theirs, right? And puts it back up. Retunication. Uh, yeah, these last three days has been a pre-tunication. Today is the articulation. The ar- <laughs> yeah, it's not really articulated so well. <laughs> Artunication, <laughs> officially. That uh, communication in art. What uh, I, I say... I guess I'll, I'll give answer before the question comes. And let me say, I'm not fighting to be right. I'm fighting to be right. Can I say that right? I'm fighting to be right. You know, you, well, we'll see. We'll see how that goes uh, as it moves in there in this examination of what is all, all flesh is grass. <coughs> Cotton mail. <coughs> there we go. Um, where am I? Where am I? It's a, a tune, a tale in tune. Today it's uh, mused in the music of Stephen Tolbert. All flesh is grass. And where does uh, where does music go? We're going to look in and see where that goes. Pulling out words of or in intersected in the music. Just art and of communication. Away with words. Clickable color. Pickable pieces. There's a time to wonder. I know it's war on the sense making. In a world that's free, contrasting the occupation intersected in black and white. Or intercepted in black and white. The listened heart is the music. Rip sheets of melody. Well, where we end up? At the dawning, let the dawning, of the, let the dawning of the day, and it comes in merriment and sorrow. All flesh is grass. On the journey we travel together, popping up times and songs that echo parts of ourselves and our experience, pulling out the words to sing as our own. My journey, our tune, what we make together, a record, and a ponder gander, a look at the echo. Some of the uh, some of the music that Steve played that uh, well I played and he sang and, and all that that uh, put to air uh, bicycles in the tall grass. What I hear out of that is uh, 
where the living used to be. Then they sang the old crazy Jim in the shadow of the pine as well. And that there, that uh, the dawning of the day. If it, was a, if it wasn't real, I wouldn't care. I'll we'll wait till sunrise where it's not so alone and lonesome. Move that book. All right. I think I'll come to this part and then I got to back up. Wait just a minute. No, here's some. I'll finish. Yes, the heart. The heart is a is a door, right? All the all the songs about blues. That was a song he sang. I think I'll come. I think I got that in notes too. These are side notes. Let me finish them out. Here's something though. No, I gave that one. Well, here it is. Give me a joy. Give me a song of joy, of happiness. And we find that what drives this art that I uh, want to create is it not? I think. Now, let me back up. I think I'm where we're at. Here's the open. Yes, Stephen Tolbert. He come from Alabama. Musically mused. Right here in black and white sounds and songs. Where we meet the music in the middle. Perhaps it takes a blind heart to see. It's really hard to understand the story and explain how I feel. Like an old man left to tell what it's all about. It's a mystery how the darkness shines. It's just plain old living still going down. Let me sing a happy song. So that, what I took out of these uh, these last three days is a string and sing. It sure sounds uh, pretty fair to me. I can't write poems, it seems, <laughs> anymore, or to begin with. Well, my pen breaks again and again. My ink dreams are splattered all over the floor. An open door, kind of elbow, elbow deep, deep in, elbow deep in ink. Thanks, Johnny Knox. Put in the muse to music, the listened heart. More from Johnny Dox. Where does the music go? Well, when the one who who played it dies, it, it never goes away. It's been given. Ashley May from Lost Dog Street Band. She said uh, something to that effect. Once it comes out and goes out, it belo- it, it goes to that person that they hear the listener. Well, what am I calling it? Uh, sheet rips or ripped sheets? Yep, ripping off the music. Uh, it's in the soul, though, don't you know? You know, Fall from Grace. It's another good song, but that really describes things, doesn't it? Inside of me, once you play that song out, it's the world. That's what she said. From uh, War Inside of Me. Once you play that song out, it's the world. Ashley May. All right, here we were back... Uh, <coughs> I think I'm debating on going here. This is the start of where I've picked up at. I think I want to go over to uh, where I'm building the uh, radio log, though, and interrupt that part. We'll come to that. That's kind of a pull-out interpretation of uh, the songs I listened to where I pulled out a little piece and a little part of it and put it down. But I want to go over here <coughs> where I'm at. Wait a minute. I'm on the wrong one. Her over here. There you are. And I'm gonna, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it bigger. I like it smaller where I can kind of see the expanse of what it is I'm doing. But when it comes to reading, a little bigger is better. <clears throat> all right. Let's take her from the top then. Yeah, where I messed it all up. And I got back, back and fixed all that. So uh, I, I decided to call this all... Flesh is, uh, I'm sorry, all, yeah, flesh is grass. And uh, I still got the uh, the black and white in perspective um, to carry it over in the contrast. Again, contrast in the occupation is uh, the direction I'm headed here uh, for the new radio uh, up until about December. <coughs> so a tune in time from the colors, let me try again, a tune in time from the colors of life from the black and white. It's a tune in time. It's a string and sing, tapping out the tempo. Talking about life here on uh, What Matters of Ponder Gathering, the radio writing series, and a swallow. 
excuse me. <clears throat> Muse in the mu music. Stephen Tolbert. That man from Alabama. Any here on the radio log L, you'll see a little mu music thing or a, or a click mark. And that's right there for the link to take you there. That, that's that clickable part of it, right? Clickable and pickable. Uh, a tail in tune with a pen and pad. Pulling out words and laying down lines. Here's what uh, some folks said there that I pulled out and put them all back together, laid them down there in lines in black and white. Go on doing with your pen what in other times was done with the sword. The heart always sings, all right? And it, maybe if it's beat down so long, it whimpers. But looking at that liberty, finding that happiness and joy. We're exploring through here. There's uh, sides to that. Merriment. The other side. Beneath the rule of men, entirely great. Beneath the rule of men, entirely great. The pen is mightier than the sword. Behold, the ark enchanter's wand, itself a nothing. Dash of pen, goose quills, and dare scarce come thither. How much more cruel the pen may be than the sword. They've been made laws about that. Well, them comes from Thomas Jefferson, Edwin Bulwer, George Whetstone, and a Hamlet reference of Shakespeare, as well as Robert Burton. The anatomy of melancholy. The pen is mightier than the sword. All, and where does it affect? I guess it'll reach out and get you. <coughs> Here to who we are, this experience that we have as life, the roaming around here on this big expanse. All flesh is grass. As flesh, as, I'm going to say flesh, hey flesh, <clears throat> all flesh is grass and the goodliness I see. Like flowers of the field, all withered away. Man, born of a woman, full of troubles for a few days. Like a vapor that appeareth for a little while, with time vanishes away. I've all time wondered about the things I've done. Twas vexation of spirit, vanity beneath the sun. All flesh is grass, and the goodness I see, like the flower of the field, all withered away. White man, red man, black man, all men. All flesh is grass. That's the song. Stephen Tilbert. All here linked up here. And I put a picture of the grass out there in the hills of Tennessee. East Tennessee, back in the land of my ancestors. When I went through and around the country. That was in this 2017 part of it. This was on Memorial. Well, I threw the, uh, from winter into spring. And here below it, it says, uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And this is something here I put together in behind it. Part of it I kind of took from uh, somewhere else. I heard a, the air, the good night part. But nonetheless, I captured those words and made them mine. Well, who's to say it ain't? Is the truth written, painted like a picture, hanging on a wall? A mirror, mirror, tell it all. Tell me how. Now found shattered. Dying. The DK line, raging in the light, torn, love lorn, there to go gently, ere the good night. Well, here in this, uh, in that picture, uh, I reckon it says, here is about the time I first, uh, the first time I shared Steve's song, All Flesh is Grass. I did find... Uh, reference, uh, I remember at least back to uh, um, McMurdy's. Uh, uh, I, I just didn't go find that, but I gotta go find that because there's more back there <coughs> to include. Well, um, let's see where I'm about. Yeah, uh, yeah. Then there you'll find uh, some links and stuff. They're all clickable. Here's one. Uh, I forget what's in. I had to have to look it up, open it back up, and I may do that. It says here, <coughs> which is, <coughs> excuse me, uh, just a second.
Hey, a frog. Hey, the victim. <laughs> Live by the Spirit and reject the deeds of the flesh. Now, it can be taken in religious religiosity, or it can be taken as an examination of uh, the uh, personal battle, daily battles, the difficulties in life, the uh, the attractions, and the um, the, de the parts of detriment too. It's uh, like a maybe like a dog sometimes turn back to his own view. Well, how far do we go? Do we go? We get to a point where it's, we're done. We're all good and. We're there where we need to be, or is it a line to cross, or is it a direction we move? We're always looking to try to go better in a better way. Sometimes people get into a bad cycle. I always wonder about that. What's the uh, what what makes that come about? Now, uh, wait, did I go too far? I did. <coughs> I did. Uh, now I got a video when I was out here in Tennessee. I, the, our regular listeners sure remember I, I was out there and uh, I cleaned up a couple of the uh, old old cemeteries where the Easleys come from uh, before or after coming from Virginia and uh, Vincent Easley which is uh, my name as well uh, uh, this lady lived out front well anyway she's she'd written a, a little book and poems and so so forth and in it I think it's about three pages it's uh, golden nuggets and She'd wondered about why, oh, that was the name of her book, Golden Nuggets, When God Calls. Um, she'd wondered why none of the descendants of the, the Easleys there or anybody else, so some other family uh, members there, had not ever come to tend the cemetery. Well, I happened to show up after all them many years. Now, me and my brother found that and come up the backside of the hill, and I'd, I found one stone with a V and an E on it. And uh, it was a footstone, so it was just like the small one scratched in there. And then I come back all them many years to go go tend it. And after all them years, and nobody come, and here I come. And uh, the very next day, on Memorial Day, uh, a man and woman come from uh, her church because she had been so uh, prayerful, I guess, to say that, what it is, about getting that done. That's something that had touched part of her. Well, when God calls, it's a memorial to uh, a life of prayer and patience. I uh, uploaded the video, and it's in the uh, check right there, Golden Nuggets. It'll be there. It's uploaded in December 2018, but it was uh, when I was in Kingsport over in East Tennessee on Memorial Day in, in the earlier part of 2017. Um, I've got a typo here. This, uh, this is one of uh, the three Easley cemeteries there. And this one is the the first Vincent Easley from back in the 1800s. 100 years between us. <clears throat> well, I took it, <coughs> put a little bit, <coughs> I really got a frog. I put a little of this together here these, uh, and say to this in uh, dedication, these, uh, these departed souls lived their lives on this earth and answered when God called. Beautiful ancient oak, stand guard as to say. This is all we need in monument. We are alive. Be still and listen. The old cemetery. It brings in to this. And this broadcast is 420 right now. So here's to you, Don Carroll. This broadcast is dedicated to you, sir. We miss you. There's uh, not a lot of good people that really you get an opportunity in life to be associated with. No matter how far away, no, whether it's been face-to-face. -face. You're part of Real Liberty Media for a good long time. We, uh, we miss you, man. Listen to you. This man is haunted by the vastness of eternity. We ask ourselves if our actions will echo across time. Will strangers know about our names and wonder about us long after we're gone? Who were we? Did we fight bravely? Did we love? All flesh is grass that withers away, and the glory of man is a flower of the field that fade away. The word endures. For the voice of one saying, Cry! And one said, What shall I cry? All flesh is grass, says he, in the goodness, goodliness thereof. 
is as the flower of the field. What is that? All flesh will be gone one day. He says, cry what? All flesh is grass, and the goodliness thereof is as the flower of the field. We're here for a season. For all grass is as grass in the glory of man, as the flower of the grass, the grass withereth, and the flower thereof fa falleth away. But the word of the Lord says, Peter says this, that the word of the Lord endureth forever. This word, which by the gospel is preached to you. Well, I'm not preaching. I'm telling you what it says here. And I think there's a, a call anybody hears that uh, they have that to answer for for themselves, not uh, any definition by somebody else telling you what it is. <laughs> that, uh, that I say. There is a time to figure one way or another what, which to do, what to go, and how to do it. Here we come to the video link, therefore, uh, this, there is a time, which, uh, it's an old, uh, uh was back on, uh, Andy Griffith's show, I don't remember, it was back in the 60s, anyways, uh, it was written by Rodney Dillard and Michael, uh, Jane, and this is, uh, covered for the sake of music itself, says Steve, it's an outstanding performance of this on the YouTube, <coughs> and I, I got her up there and gathered and it put it right there in place, right there in the radio log. It's a bluegrass presentation uh, who put it there and we've taken it over here. I have. And I put it there. The darlings are in town visiting and <coughs> Charlene sings her signature song. Andy Griffith, the darlings, there is a time. Well, there is a time. And I've got a playlist on YouTube. I've, that's why I say I listened to about every, every one that's ever sung that. That I can find there, anyways. And uh, now I'm gonna tell you about Steve. He <laughs> he don't uh, he, and he points this out like something that you can pick up. He's uh, uh, not to wanting to, to praise the uh, anything. He's just a regular old fella. And I don't know. Some of y'all will uh, have had friends that are that play music, sit around guitar, that sort of thing. Well, I, I, Steve's a great, I think he's an awesome, <coughs> excuse me, an awesome uh, songwriter, first of all, and I like to sing him. And, they, you know, there's the imperfection, and that's that's what makes it perfect. His, dear, his uh, <laughs> what does that song go? F all the perfect people. Yeah. So he's not uh, high fluting or nothing like that. But there is a time. There's uh, There's a time for love and laughter. And the days will pass. Like summer storms and the winter winds will fall after. But there's love. And love is warm. Yes, there is a time for us to wonder. When time is young, and so are we. And the green, the woods are greener over yonder. The path is new and the world is free. There's a time when leaves are falling. The woods are gray and the paths are old. And the snow will come with geese are calling. And you'll need a fire against the cold. So do your roaming in the springtime, and you'll find your love in the summer sun. The frost will come and bring the harvest, and you can sleep when the day is done. There is a time. There's a river. Time is like a river flowing with no regrets as it moves on. But around each bend is a shiny morning of all the friends you thought were gone. <clears throat> I didn't do that too good there. I'll do that back in again. <clears throat> Try one more time. Stumble to it. This is a uh, this verse here was added in Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. Uh, it wasn't in the original ones that most people sing. And I, I think this is real good. This is that uh, that wandering after. Uh, hold on. <clears throat> you know, after we're gone, after like the grass and we're back into the ground. There's uh, people that have uh, hope or faith in uh, whether it be to be come back again as, and reincarnated or go on to another life or existence. And all of ideas on what that is. Nobody can uh, write it down and show you a direction how to get there. I don't reckon. But time is like a river flowing. No regrets as it moves on. Around each bend, the shining mooring. And all the friends you thought were gone. Well, we had that one song from uh, Cody, Cody Jinks. 
kind of echoes that where, where you end up. Oh, be with friends, right? In dreams like a river drifting around each bend, the shining morning. And the heart, that's where the music's at. It's a beckoning call to faraway places through times past. From the minds of men come words in the makers of worlds. True colors betrayed you who were untrue. Pulling out words against me, I wish I never said. I love you. Yours was a lie. Finding heartbreak in the travels through lifetime. Sometimes you get lucky in love. In the end and all through the middle at times, gut wrenching, clean up to the noggin. It ain't easy. Even by ones that's best led. Life is hard and comes fast. Pitch swings of dread. Like a wrecking ball. Like a bulldozer. It's by the seat of your pants you feel the earth move. More than tales told. What's seen by eye. Poker not forgotten. Even dealt out a hand. The tale's read right and proper. It's time to go all in. So get your feet up out of bed. Let the dawning of the day make way. That's easy for you to say, some will say, have said, but it's a start. Just a little something, I reckon. Place to begin. I've got here to one uh, from, from Dara Long, and uh, he, he sang it, then uh, Steve covered it. It's uh, in here. Four pages of my life. Pretty good. It's short. Sounds short, does it? Four pages? Boy, I put it all down in four pages. Well, <laughs> sounds short even hearing it sung. In a long way, a long song, I say, right there. Playing a little uh, pun and fun there with, uh, with Dara's last name. <laughs> well, I've got this down in here, and I figured I had ought to put her in there. It's uh, one of the uh, super secret identities of the Super Vinny. Uh, I mean, that shh, nobody's supposed to know. Who is this boy? Who is this poor boy, Scaramouche? God, you might want to know. And does he fantangle? <laughs> now here's a video that, that is awesome from uh, Circle. She, uh, she gave me. I never even heard this guy. It's wonderful. It's because I took on this persona of Capitani Zani. That's right. That's me, a Scaramouche. Not too much. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, Scaramouche tweets. Hey, what are you gonna say? <laughs> there he is. So, well, let me tell you a little. Bit. Let me tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Scaramouche. <laughs> I know. Open this. Click, 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 and it opens up. Well, I had to steal these pictures right here. Oh, they wouldn't let me uh, copy their own address and post them. Stupid, right? It's like, here, man. I'm gonna get you. Somebody maybe come over here, take a look what you got, cause they seen this right here, and I didn't like. What do I get out of it? Do I get anything out of this? What do I gain? Now, I have a part to interpret into myself, this visual, just like, man, could you imagine being blind or deaf? It'd be terrible. Well, it becomes part of us. When do we give it back out to it? It becomes whoever receives it. Well, here's old Scaramouche. I want to find out who he is. Well, it comes out of the pages of literature. It's, uh had a bad things happen. It was tragedy. Tragic, this word that uh, my friend Lou pointed out to me. Seems to be getting a lot of uh, attention somehow. So I guess probably ought to put a hashtag tragic when it comes to all flesh is grass. Put this Scaramouche. The, the first line of Scaramouche is one of the most famous in literature. And it goes, he was born with a gift of laughter in a sense that the world was mad. Mad indeed, I say. This comes from R.R. Uh, R. Horton Blogspot. Uh, I took uh, took that little bit of uh, right there and put it down for you and me to know. I'm making our own. Well, about the book. Let's see if I can scroll here. Make sure I got it all here. Now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> about the book. With an with an introduction by uh, Bernard Cornwell, and the author, uh, the, the guy, it says uh, when uh, Andre Lewis witnessed the murder of his best friend by an arrogant and privileged aristocrat, aristocrat, 
aristocrat rat. Yeah. He swears to avenge his death, forced to flee from his hometown after stirring up revolutionary fever fever uh, in the citizens. He falls in with a traveling theater company that uh, and disguises himself as the character of the wily rogue Scaramouche. His ens ensuing adventures involve hair-raising duels, romance, treachery, and shocking family secrets, all handled with brilliance and wit by this extraordinary hero, Scaramouche. There's the image I took in uh, that bit of information. I'd steal it, too. But I ain't really stealing it. I'm just using it and giving it back. It's not like I have a hold of it and or somebody's giving me dollars or nothing. Right. <laughs> Has there been any? See, this is the idea over here. You'll see that uh, that uh, sign of the big A with it with a funny cross across how it was crossed there. And, and funny colors, maybe. Some people say, what is this anarchy? No. It means... To do no harm. Well, there's that, and we'll go back over here where I was at. And I believe that's on the blog right there next to it, sure enough. Yes. Well, let me tell you something more about me as Scatomoosh. Hey, I'm going to go back up, 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 and then back, back down. Yeah, the question was, who is this poor boy? Scatomoosh. Well, do I fantango? Well, <laughs> I don't know that I do. <laughs> but I'll put on a good show. Tis true, I come to discover secrets, but more to trust than to, to suspect, and fitly nothing but words gratify me. Me, the partner gander, and uh, wander, <laughs> wand <laughs> I see another typo to fix. The ponder gander in a wander wonderland. That's in uh, Portman 2 in the Scatamouche. Hoo ha ha, what? Well, you'll have to find it in the radio log down there. You can figure that out. Yeah, these are really not real places, actually, that exist somewhere in the minds of man. Where these worlds are created, it's a wonderful place. Hey, down here at the bottom, we'll come along, come along. You'll see there that we, uh, I say we, because Grumner helped me. He's, he's wonderful. There's the uh, Ponder Gander podcast player, and it's got a record thing right there, but and a whole scroll list of uh, these. So for Daryl... Along and Stephen uh, Tolbert and his friends, who one day if you find this and come down here to want to see what I'm a saying, you'll have to go down there and scroll down the list and look for uh, uh, 2019 as September 10th and the 11th and the 12th, and then today have to be Friday the 13th. So the first three <clears throat> now this one here this will go out in all the places out to. Uh, YouTube bit shooting, uh, shooting, <coughs> shooting shit. <coughs> Excuse me, what? Hold on. <coughs> I think I got to spit them words out. I think I'll come to that a little later in the in the uh, notes over here. Hold on. <coughs> Thank God for the coffee bean. Hold on a minute. I'm, I'm live on the mic here. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, let me get a cigarette here. Going. Oh, where was I? Oh, it's over here. So scroll back down into the date time there because uh, the numbers change. It goes from one down, so the numbers always change in which you're, where it is in the playlist. But 2019, uh, September the 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th. <coughs> The tenth is uh, called "Muse to the Music." Stephen Tilbert pulling out, pulling out words in black and white. Number two is Stephen Tilbert laying down the lines in black and white. Those two pre-tunications come together to uh, bring this here the <coughs> excuse me the culmination. Uh, "Muse to the Music" was yesterday. And I played uh, I played some music out from uh, Daryl Long and his wife Dolly, and this is number three because uh, it, can I read it? It gets truncated. Mused in the music, Dolly, Daryl and Dolly Long, from the black and white of life, and then it cuts off to the color or something. I forgot it. Sorry, to the color. Anyways, it's all tuned in, and incorporated in what I got going here with this today. 
So, them three right there, because I played all that music out, and YouTube is like a, a copyright cops, and he ain't nowhere but right here. Yeah, I reckon y'all probably be all right with that, and if there is any problem, you just tell me, and we'll fix it. But otherwise, there it is, parked there to go with this broadcast that is going out to the other places that it doesn't go. That's a long playlist in through there. Uh, past broadcast and then so what I've got down here below it then is uh, a screenshot to show you um, the the title all right there and I'd have to really blow it up to be able to see that yeah but it's this uh, yeah the, that colors life anyways with uh, Daryl and uh, Dolly his wife you hit it all right bye. I'll see you a bit um, i uh, watching them now, hearing them, I, I can even hear it, this music that they give out there. And it goes around and about and comes back in and, and goes back out. But anyways, you could also see their light shine. You ever see somebody's eyes light up? Yeah. Even their skin glows. Well, them two right there, that's what I see, that, uh, that glow of love when they look at each other. Been married... Uh, 16, 17 years now, last June, if I heard uh, said right. Let's see where I'm at. <clears throat> right there below that picture, yeah, yeah. So, it'll be, uh, well, I've got descriptions in there, building the broadcast, uh, pre-tuned, one through three, audio only, and it is mused in the music. And that be, I th I've got to do an open, see more, no, yes. Uh, Stephen Tolbert uh, pulling out words in black and white. I click that, and I think I put this in a Dab Lee link that uh, it'll bring you over to places that you might not otherwise uh, go. <laughs> well, explore more, I say. That's right. So I hear she be sure enough, uh, and it opens up in a photograph. Or no, it's not a photograph. What do you call a picture that's posted, that's copied, and you know, screen snipped it? There it is. Number two is Stephen Tolbert laying down the lines in black and white. Daryl and Dolly Long from the black and white of life to full color. That's what I describe in that glow that you see. I see it. I think everybody else might. Somebody might. Where did I scroll down here? Let's see. And, yep, music and music. The man from Alabama pulling out the words and laying down the lines right here today. Real Liberty Media. A tale in Dune and making records in black and white. <laughs> All right, so there I'm done. I believe. Wait, let me go back. Make sure. Right, see, and then I go over and pick up my pad that I had my pen all over when I was elbow deep in ink. Yes, down here at the bottom. That uh, the uh, <clears throat> let's see when was it? Thursday? No, Wednesday. Someday this <laughs> week. It was during part two. That uh, after the show, I played some more music and kept going there and uh, didn't get into the recording. But these are from uh, Darren and, and uh, the list here. What was played is Mary and Willie cover. <laughs> this one was so much fun. Rink them, mink them, doodle. <laughs> That's a cover by Darren and his wife, Dolly. <laughs> and the San Antonio Rose. I can't help but sing when I hear that one. And Gone Fishing. That was uh, written and recorded by Dara himself. And then maybe he's an original also. Part 3. of uh, That's down here in the uh, being that radio player down there. And the songs I played from, from them right here included. Uh, and you can go find and see that glow that I'm talking about. You see the love when they look at each other. And they did, I played some of their covers. Uh, Daryl's got a lot of good music of his own, and uh, I wanted to play them two together. Demonstration of uh, what him is there in this this world that uh, that we live in, when we're contrasting the occupation and what we're seeking, really, huh? Well, depends on. Let's see. Do I got that still in front of me? Where I can reread it? Oh, I can remember it. Yeah. So, the, so the difference there in the in the occupation, right? Contrasting it. That, uh, the one that, uh, let's sing it in the song. Feel good? No, that ain't it. 
uh, I can't think of it. There's a word that's out there in some music somewhere, maybe. But anyway, so the difference. What are we looking for? True love? Real love? Let's go see somebody hollering at me. Hello, hello. Who said that? Uh, da -dum -bum -bum. Where's my name? Somebody posted me something there. Didn't it? I heard it click. It did it again. There it is. Hooray. I made it for the end. Oh, hey, Krimner. Right on. <laughs> he was out at and about. Oh, there's where it popped up at. Krimner come in with a now. <clears throat> Where did our, did our, did our, here, <coughs> back over here. Yes, I was uh, giving a, a holler out there to Daryl and Dolly. A hit set, Dolly and Daryl, no doubt. Yeah, is that? Oh, I got to take that off the bottom. I have it duplicated. <coughs> and that takes me uh, to the end of that. And then I'm gonna go pick up a big long. Yes, yeah, I'll probably go over an hour. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I need to quench my thirst. Let me, uh, I'm going to go put a, a song on, but let me go push it, let me find one, and then uh, um, I'll go push pause like a dog and pause on the on the player. Well, I'll just see, I th oh, that's a good one, the one I was talking about, the four, and I can pick it up from over here, uh, four pages, let me scroll back up, four pages from my life. Away up here, above the scattermoosh, and there it is. <clears throat> and so I'll go. Let me push pause, and then I can go right back there to it. And I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Thanks, Daryl. That uh, I'm sorry, uh, Stephen sung that for, for of Daryl's song. Four pages of my life <clears throat> written by Daryl Long. As a bit uh, audio only, and it's over here in the radio log. You know, I ought to have, uh, yeah, uh, you see over there the, in a long song, that's Dara singing it right there. <clears throat> All right, I, it's what I've done here as I was playing out uh, this music and going along through these last three days and uh, uh, pulling little bits and pieces and parts, and some of them will touch and, and others won't, I guess. And if you listen to the music, you may pull something else out yourself altogether. But I will run through the music I played. Bicycles and the Tall Grass. There's a song from September in 2019 that uh, Steve wrote. Oh, I put notes elsewhere too, didn't I? Dad gum it. Let me go. Let me go. I got them. Hold it. Wait, where's it at? Here it is. Yeah, Bicycles in the Grass. It's where the living used to be. Where the living used to be. That's nice place and time. And he talked about old crazy Jim, sure enough. And I think I'll find him along here more in the notes as well. It uh and in the shadow of the pine. And the dawning of the day, which I included into a lot of words I throw threw in around it. Some of them look jumbled and unless you say them the right kind of way, it really don't make no sense, I think. But I, I tried to play fast and loose with some words in there and squashed them together. I go back and read that one again for him to try again. Uh, well, if I wasn't, uh, if it wasn't real, I guess I wouldn't care. Sometimes you, in this song from dawn and the day, you you wait till sunrise where it's not so lonesome. There's that. Okay. <clears throat> you know, on past uh, crazy Jim. Yeah, old crazy Jim. He. Uh, he carried boulders on his shoulders. Was he a strong man or crazy? He did a lot of things that only made sense to him. In the shadow of the pines, the song about where we're going to all end up one day, maybe underneath, maybe in contemplation and prayer. Maybe we just lie there <laughs> in oceans of diamonds to cover. It's all I need to make me feel fine. It's ominously beautiful, or maybe beautifully ominous. We got some Alabama fried strings. You just string it free. String, string, string in the sing. Sing, ding, ding, ding. <clears throat> well, we come across some covers, and we'll find out where some people are looking for. The Stairway to Heaven. 
amused Melody. And ten bottles of beer on the wall. Ten bottles of beer. I take one down and pass it around. Well, I'm going to sing that to accompany songbirds. And I miss licking out a tune, tuna, tuna fish. Skipped. Uh, oh, buddy. Well, we get on and we skipped this one right there. I jumped over uh, one in the playlist for girls. What else? <laughs> and past Southern Wisteria to let the dawning of the day take these long hours away. Merriment and sorrow. Does one go before another? Were they not both the cause of love? Stop to smell the spring blossoms. First chiseled in stone, says Vernon Gosden. You don't know about sadness until you've lived a life alone. And you don't know lonely. Shell, it's carved in stone. Turn the page. We got on and we got to celebrate just in time. I mean, it just come right on in there like like it knew where it was supposed to be. Talking about the uh, vibrational frequency, I think. Wild wood flower was a 420 vine time. Fire in a hole. Nothing else matters report. <laughs> yeah, then we came to nothing else matters. A cover. That's, again, i got to say, I'm just so glad for bluegrass, especially. But... In general, I think uh, cover songs, see what I'm saying? People take that music and then take it, make it their own, and put it back out there, and it's something else, the same and different. But they did that, old su nothing else matters. Now, who did that? Well, let me go look over here in the chat so I can see. And they'll take a minute and get down at Grimner. Who sang that? Nothing else matters. Uh, I forget. But I don't like their version of it at all. <laughs> Not at all. Grimner asked me the other day, he said, do you sit here and listen to this kind of music all day? I said, I sure do. You know there's different tastes, right? You might get something from somewhere else that I wouldn't even think to go or want to. Well, no matter how far you go, so close yet so far, forever trusting who we are. I don't know, but perhaps it takes a blind heart. Uh, what did I say here? Uh, a blind heart from my story of... Uh, uh, wait, I'm messing it up. I see what I wrote there. Oh, that's what it says. That's why I couldn't read it, right? I was making three words out of two. <laughs> Perhaps it takes a blind heart. The mystery of how the darkness shines. Can somebody tell you? And I'd allow you? Well, Mama don't allow. And I don't care. The music... It's <laughs> being sung. They're going down that road feeling bad. That's what old Dan D. Durgis cover. Where the water tastes like wine. I ain't going to be treated this way. No, sir, I ain't. Getting there. Got this old dirt road. The skies above ain't all that's blue, you know. Using up that's all. Wait. Y'all, back up. It ain't all that's blue. Living up, living up to the, to all. I, what I did, I wrote a bunch over on the side. But let me cipher <clears throat> just a second here. Uh, I'm gonna back up to do it. Uh, let's see. Getting there. Got this old dirt road. The skies above it ain't all blue. Using up, uh, living up to all that. Yeah, it's not all blue. Living up to all that. Well, this is where I was saying where he was talking about uh, not want the praisers have, have to something to live up to your expectations and so forth, and it don't want to be let down. It's back to all flesh, you know, uh, and I think we've all felt that way. The way we feel, the way we feel it, full of trouble for a few days, sometimes wonder at the things you've done. You know, a man of constant sorrow. With hands tied around a hard luck cup. Been drinking for my... Let me try again. <clears throat> Hand tied around a hard nut, hard knock cup. Been drinking from hard to swallow. 
can't spit out the slobbering wor- sorrow. I can't spit out the, the slobbering s- word. Can I? <laughs> can't spit out the slobbering sorrow. H, uh, you know, wait. Man, I'm sorry, I'm messing up. Yeah. Well, he wipes and wipes and uh, try again. Wipes and washes the stain. Well, that I really didn't do good justice to. But uh, this whole hard life that uh, we knock about in and uh, get dirty sometimes, and not only on the outside. And looking for that renewal of that soul of mine. Well, that words inside. When we get to this place, the state where I was born and raised, fire thee well. There's one promise that, that's given. And I'll meet you on God's golden shore. We get on down to who is she? In songs that he sang. And I wonder, it seems like I should know. His sovereign sorrow. More than some. We'll ever know. Can you hear those words in the song? I hear them. I swear they live. Wow. Inside. Got them wrapped up right inside here. Stain with the feet. Worried down. Struggling up. Can't get enough. But there's good news. Thank God for the coffee bean. I was going to say country again. I don't know why. I <laughs> I can't spit out this slobbering uh, slur, <laughs> sobering sorrow. Even we get to the song from uh, Towns Van Zant, Rake, and beat me back down. Find it be time like water, and I'm the sea. Prides and pleasure, got it. <laughs> thought to be given. Sorry, prides and pr- pleasure, thought to be forgiven. And here I've got a lot of writing over myself here. Uh, let me see where it is so I can know. I like how I pulled it out there. All right. <clears throat> Prides and pleasure. Thought to be forgiven. Like fire on my skin. Even the moonlight is blinding. And fear not, my child. This is one of those days. Being lazy, Maybe. Why not put it off for tomorrow? You see, it's one of those days. It ain't really, but it could be. Laid back. Wind blows through the pines. Did he ever say, I wish I'd never said I love you? And live with that regret? You know, I love you so, you might say. Wherever you for mind to go. It's a song from the heart. We get on down to Lucille. That's a response. Well, Lucille just rocks. That's back home, ain't it? And then the stairway to heaven again. We're finding our way through this world and looking and looking and looking on where we at. Back on the stairway to heaven. And then we go hell bound. Or hell, hell's hound on my trail, that is. Going to hell and back. And we didn't even sing me back home. But we did. We will. You heard it if you did. That's a song I used to hear. Sing me back home. Headed to headed to heaven. Take me away. Too much water, maybe. That's when I said, oh, we've well, uh, got a long journey. We might need some. And maybe it uh, gets so far that it's too mad to come back home. Now's the time to let you know. Here comes from another song. You gotta swim the sea, maybe. Especially when the ships are sinking. You gotta jump out and get into it. Look at that. Time drying into an hour. Was that was that me or just that's how that works? I don't know. Well, I had to uh, all flesh is grass and who is this bluegrass picking whatever home grown? Get to picking anyways. He done did it. String and sing. All down lonesome. Mm-hmm. Something worked around in open D, I guess it was. <laughs> Gotta do my time. And then he's struggling a little bit of the night court, which was pretty fitting. Gotta do my time. 
That judge looked down on me and said, he's going to put me on a good road. Well, there's some nature lessons in there, surely. Out there, popcorn and mimosas. And talk, don't talk about my mama behind my back. He didn't like, that's what Steve was talking about. Uh, he didn't like mimosa trees because they talk behind his mama's back. And he's got a, sh a sweet gum tree. He's got a, named it Juicy Fruit, even though it does not produce good fruit. <laughs> he sang about my unknown child. That's the one that gets started in my heart. It's going to be a part of next week's uh, final in black and white series here. It's going to be bloody. Bloodied in black and white. Talk about that later. Well, memories of us. Everything is still the same. That's a cover there. Memories of us. Is everything still the same? Memories, do they change? We get into some scarlet ribbons and finger picking. It won't change for anyone. Nothing to do with uh, arrogance. There's that word, arrogance. See, hey, some people might take somebody as being arrogant, maybe. Or even call them a peacock. Well, for Elsie, there's a, there's a little instrumental in there. And then the you, you, too many syllables sometimes. I, I boy, I do it. But doop doop doop. Well, and he got all turned around, of course, and picked up a match and played some boogie with a burning match. I couldn't tell you. I'd, that was something to see. Well, Mama don't allow. She don't allow no burning match picking, pick picking, or none of that stuff. Huh, say what? There was some inspector gadget along the way. And back right under the cedar tree. That place we all might find ourselves one day. What do you say? What do you call out to? Lead me, dear Lord. Through all adversity. And all that I do. And that all that I can bear. I'm getting better. Jim Reeves sang it that way. Maybe too close to the flame. I know. I'll never be the same. I guess things happen that way. Well, I don't like it. Well, I find another on my own. Just picking it. It gets down to nobody's business. That's another cover. Who said something? High circle. Weird and wonderful, she says I am. You're wonderful. That's another person that is uh, that gives that stuff that I get. I take it and make it my own. That muse that uh, is part of me. It makes it makes part of it becomes part of me and in, in uh, who I am from her, from my friend circle. I, well, I was asked earlier this morning if I was all consider myself an artist. Well, I was talking about these terrible artists in history. It looked like a Wiped uh, Shinola on one shoe, and well, what did step in uh, and should be wiping off on it? Yeah, and then wiped it off on. I don't know. I don't understand that. Uh, looked like maybe a kid, but had painted it or something. But hey, it's art, right? It's interpretation by the individual. So I, yes, my artist. I, I think uh, feel like a. It's a think and feel at the same time. Think. I think I'm an artist. I feel like one. I think. I am. I think like one. There's a connection I know with artists. I I think uh, that uh, is connected, like music. But uh, maybe even I think we're all artists to art, even if we uh, can't paint nothing but uh, with crayons outside the lines is all right too. Right? That uh, want to create comes. I think it's built in. It comes out of us. There's other things inside tell us things. Sometimes going to stop and be still and to hear that still small voice. But I think it's there. If we don't ever shun it so much as not to hear it no more. Is that what make people go bad? They break inside? They break in or are they just damaged? Is there a point somewhere they can't come back? Now, how much, no matter how far I go, where you go. Huh. I've done some living and Lord knows some learning. 
A man comes to understand the lessons sometimes. I'm the kind of man. Walking on a railroad all the live long day. Mm -hmm. Well, they were the only tracks or not. Most of them southern towns get trains going through them. The rain falls on all, great and small, right and wrong. Where do you find me? Well, I got a pad in hand. hand. I had a pen on top of it. Because why? The pen is mightier than the sword. In this contrast in the occupation, there's those that would go and think that uh, guns, guns, the sword, will uh, be the answer. Circle said, I agree. Creativity is weaved into the fabric of us. I think so, too. Well, if you got to go to guns, it's gone too far, probably, because uh, there's a whole lot of other guns out there, maybe. But I'm not saying I'm against guns or any of that. I'm just saying weighing the options and how we get there at a point where you can't come back. What else you got to guard for in life? A few words. Those words. Those words. Them words. Them words. Them. Them words. Yeah, they'll be used against you. They can and will be. Whether it be in societal constraints or in a legal system. People in prison for that. Just for words. Can you believe that? In words. The heart of music. Or we find it on the radio. But maybe it takes a blind heart. It's hard to understand. Thank God for the coffee bean again. But there is a time. There is. And I'll fight. I'll fight it. Be all lonesome and thinking about you. Echoing words. Like a whippoorwill. They consider me feathered. What's in the middle? Well, that's what matters most. So, Peacock mentioned, uh, <laughs> yeah, in the song. And then there's the shout out for Rob Works. Yeah, the same me a song, Mr. Pinnaman. No, I just threw that in there. Well, what do you mean to mean? I say, I say. Four pages of my life, but they're long. There it is. Again, because it seems so short to say. I'm telling that sort of way, but hey. A song does it, doesn't it? There's some things remembered. Right there from Daryl and Dolly. It's my life in a nutshell from them four pages. There's more than I could tell, though, as he says. Singing your love song. There he was expressing what ain't wrong. Government and politics are distractions, right? From the real thing. A few kinds of... Uh, Extrollers lift up till the lifting lets them down. So that's some words I was saying a little bit earlier. Extrollers lift up till the lifting lets them down. Do you put your hope in somebody, in the the praise or the uh, support or any number of ways that you're dependent that uh, you have the lack of ability yourself to. Uh, control or fulfill or find well sometimes that good that lifting up's good right we need that support at least to keep us from falling over it's true nature true nature of the beast there's in the description there i put some pluses in there that's in the video that i don't have in front of me but then the videos you play uh, you make out the <clears throat> title of the song because i'm a saying them sure enough if you're interested to know, you can go search over on his YouTube channel, Steve T, and then River Drifting, you got two of them, and Darrow, D-A-R-R-O, you'll find them all here in the radio log here, and it's all done, uh, tunicated, and put out there, what can I say, <laughs> call the dogs, here dogs, <laughs> yeah, well, and then he got down to little brother doing some picking, and again, already been, nothing less than, well, love made us rich, and he got to 20, 27 to catch up, or 27 to catch up to him. I left 27 long ago. Will it ever catch up? I don't think so. It's gone back there in the past where it lives. 
But it's still alive, ain't it? Inside? And there? Is that that uh, younger feller in there? Well, if you don't like me, I can only like I can only say is forget me. I'll say what Steve said in the song anyways. Forget me when I'm gone. Uh, it says what? Uh, yeah, here's some uh, mushy pears and blues that he does right there. And also talks about uh, thankful for each other. That's a place to be, being thankful. Well, I was there. Sure was. And then found the Dear John letter. He, uh, and it says, uh, I scribbled it. Oh, these are two other songs here anyways. Uh, and, and Dreamcatcher comes in there. And If I Didn't Know Better. I'd be saying uh, what it was. <laughs> and I'll be your baby tonight. <laughs> Can I sing? All flesh is grass. It. You ever hear it? the crash in the wind, the tall grass? The river drifting? All flesh is grass. And the goodliness I see, like the flower of the field, all withered away. There's a man born of a woman. Full of troubles for a few days, like a vapor. It appears for a short time, and with time vanishes away. Well, I've oft time wonders about the things I've done, and vexation of spirit, vanity beneath the sun, all flesh is grass, and the goodliness I've seen. Well, they're like the flowers of the field that wither away. Who are we? White man, red man, black man, all men, all flesh is grass, all withers away. I'm not fighting to be right, I'm fighting to be right. The flesh and the spirit, contrasting this control in this system about us, that also is within ourselves. And with others. We muse that part. That others shared. That shareness of themselves. That we share. And experience. To be a part of them now. Where we find this inspiration. And all that entails. This, these good things. And good people. Well give me a song of joy. Of happiness. The want to create. That ark, that open door, and all those songs about blue. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Steve Tolbert. Thanks, Daryl Long. Dolly, you're wonderful. Daryl, you, your mom and the other the rest of your family sings real fine too. And what a you guys have got people there that I'm just figuring out how y'all that these people that like to pick and sing and that sort of thing. There's a great group of folks around there that uh, I've, that's some of them places I get to go. I get to go and see them, discover them, find that song that will sing in my heart, them words that I can find for myself, what, what describes me, what makes me feel, or what I want to feel, or where I want to go, what I want to do, where, where, when, oh, why, why, why. We can sing about it, tell it in a song. This has been a ponder gander. What matters? Uh, what I call radio writing. <laughs> I like to make up words like that. <laughs> Artunication. Sure enough. I've got all flesh is uh, grass uh, uh, hashtagged up in here. In this bit of connecting voices. Yeah. A ponder gander. A wander on the wander. Well, what I didn't say, you might read the rest. Right here at Real Liberty Media, RLM Radio. This is the R-Log. We've, we've uh, looked at uh, Scatamoosh. And uh, sounds great, maybe. Less feeling. Standing in a gap. That's where I'll be. Right here. As a paraphrase, pleasure receiving me. Vinny, RLM Radio. At Wander Wonderland. Oh, rambling along. Let me scroll down. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. A uh, tune in time from the colors of life, from black and white.
You know, it says, it's been a tune in time. And they will echo from a string and sing or tapping out the tempo. What well, matters? Just Ponder Gander telling it as I see it or say it in the radio writing series. Thanks, Steve Tobert. Been uh, amused in the music from the ma- man from Alabama. Uh, tell in tune and a pad and pen. Pulling out words and laying down the line. All of them laid down there right there. They little leap boo poo Cause the pen is mitered and sword. And all flesh is grass. We're all the same. We live and die. Yeah. Hey, this is uh, this is Friday. Thanks, Grimner. This is uh, the free Cursed Friday right here at Real Liberty Media. And Grimner Moose Girl, come along for a oh, big old good time. Call it a ball, y'all. The Freakers Ball. Come on along. 11 o'clock tonight. If you're on the east coast of America. Then tomorrow. Uh, no, we're not doing Flash, you're going to come back radio with me. He got me all hooked on it. And then he's quit. 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 Come back. Yeah, he he liked me. You know, sometimes you got to walk away. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set him a trap. I'm going to put a rope around his leg. Make him stay. Like an old dog or a pony. <laughs> we'll come back Sunday anyways for radio. And, uh. About noon o'clock, <coughs> we'll be uh, playing some trivia. If you got fast fingers, and the internet helps, <laughs> you can flick them and pick them and play some trivia with us right here. Uh, show up earlier and turn the radio on right here. If you like blues, it's good to just let there and let it soak in. All that music comes in there and makes us who we are, but we express ourselves anyways. Change our mood. Yeah, it helps. Yeah. But anyways, come a little earlier, and you can hear Grimner himself as he's flipping them flips into switches and the picking and the ticking and the clicking and all that stuff that he does to make the stuff come out there where we can hear it. That's about get there about 15, 20 minutes early and turn your radio on, and then uh, be ready for some trivia at noon East Coast time. Three hours later, now imagine if you will, we start. With the blues and trivia at noon on the East Coast. And three hours later, guess what? It's noon again, noon o'clock on the left coast out there by the Pacific. And Hal Anthony's coming out from behind the woodshed to give you some lessons. He ain't going to drag you back here and open that can of whoop ass on you. He's going to show you how to eat your spinach. He ain't going to chew the cabbage twice. Let me tell you how, you know, he might tell you how cows eat cabbage, but. If you're not a ruminant, you may not know what it is he has to say. Well, I tell you, he'll he'll point you on the path as a pathfinder. Not only in in the in what comes against you and these people. I'm sorry they just don't want won't. I don't know what. Hal Anthony could have saved lives, people from prison, but his word was not received. In this occupation, uh, in contrast. And if you're going down here, if you're listening and don't know me, go down to the bottom of the, the radio log there and you'll see uh, some about me and where it was I was at. And uh, standing in the gap. And where does that leave me at? Yeah, back there with, with Hal. Learning learning how to not get hit. Hey, anyway, appreciate y'all. Well, okay, hey, thanks, buddy. Just go ahead and drop them again. Uh, thanks, man. See you later. Yep. All right. Wait a minute. We won't cut off. Uh, yeah, that's where we was at behind the woodshed, and we'll come back Monday. Now, a lot of people like to grumble and moan about this and that, and uh, it's going on in the world, and what they're hearing on the TV and all that. And there, it's terrible. Yeah, some some's hard to swallow. Well, we've got grim leftovers, and it might make you sick to hear it. But 7 p.m. East Coast time. Grimner's back here with Grim Leftovers. Well, some yum yum fun, anyways. Come on along and get your belly full. And I think that takes us on out to uh, the folks that have left radio in high 80s or low 80s or wherever the they ended up at. They're still here in the network. We'll come back for uh, what was on last night was uh, P- uh, Pimpster and Proopster. <laughs> no. Poopster and Prince Power Hour. And uh, I was sleeping. I didn't stay up for them, fellas. 
But anywho, that does it again. I'll be back next Friday at noon o'clock central. Noon central. It's a place. It's a time. And it's where I'm at. And where you're at if you're listening. Oh, then this is a perfect time. And here we go. It's uh, one minute. I'll type in the chat. We'll make this official. Uh, 420 somewhere. And that'll, that'll do. Because, hey, 420 vine time is a fine time to do. And uh, I, I've got to put this fire in the hole with it. And as soon as I'm done doing that, I'm going to go push some buttons. And we'll be done. There it is, right there. 425 time, fire in the hole. Vanna White's one of our bots. She says, puff, puff, pass. And smart ass says, fire up the bubbler. Barman brings first lady bud. Uh, which first lady? The second one? The last one? The one before that? I don't know. Where's, where's that button at? Let me get over here to it. There I am. I'm a duck. Bang! I got shot by suck puck. That we got a duck game going in here. Oh, wait. He shot himself in the foot first. And Grimder came back and shot me. Perfect timing. 420 vine time. And there I popped up in the as Vincent Easley the duck. Quack, quack. <laughs> yes. I thought I was a duke. They said I was a duck. I said, it, if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, <laughs> what do you got? Well, I'm a ponder gander. I ain't no duck. <laughs> but I've been... Uh, should have ducked a time or two that I didn't. <laughs> I'm done. See y'all. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. Hey, Daryl uh, and uh, Steve and Dolly. Uh, this, I hope you'll be getting, I'll be sending you this to give to you to see what you'll do with it, like it or not. I hope you do. This has uh, uh, been mused <coughs> and, and taking in a part of you, to, in of myself. And Steve especially want to tell you, I, yeah, it's like I already know you like I mean you remind me of a friend or two and uh I see what comes out of you in your music and I appreciate it and I feel for you, brother. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks everybody. Bye bye.